Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be talking about this particular box. Let me tell you my story about this. I pre-ordered this way back literally six months ago on Big Bad Toy Store. And I've had it on there and I've taken it off like two or three times. Only because it's like, uh, I'll go to Target and get it uh, once it comes out in the stores and stuff like that. So I'll go straight to Target and get it, but... I would eventually end up putting it back on there and I finally got it in okay it literally took two three days once I got the confirmation in that we were going to get this in because I've been wanting this particular figure only because of uh, Jason's face and the way that he looks suit wise to me this is the best representation of Jason uh, it's got a great looking suit and everything once I take this out of the box you will understand what I'm talking about this is a very cool box set. It's got um, all kinds of unique tools that he uses, okay? And we're going to touch base on those as well, okay? So we will be talking about this particular uh, figure in just a second. Okay. Okay, we are back. It literally took me 20 minutes just to figure it out, but the actual, um, it's like a buzz saw, um, or like a, it's like a bush saw is what it's like, it's bushwhacker or something. But anyway, I'm still trying to figure it out because I can't seem to get it to hold in the hands properly. I just got to position the arms or something in some sort of way in order for it to stay there because this is the way I want to show, uh, display this, um, particular Jason up against the other ones is with this particular tool because next to the machete it is quite famous in this movie is this uh, bushwhacker or what do you want to call it bush saw but anyway before we get into the actual figure in itself uh, let's get into the accessories that it comes with and it comes with an ungodly amount okay let's start off with this bad boy right here this right here is in fact get it back up there oh hang on I'm going to pull this focus back. Now we're going to try it. Okay. It is the sickle. Okay, guys. Turn it around. Alright. And that's what that looks like. I'm going to show you the handle. Alright. That's what that looks like. It's got a neat little pattern on the handle, too. Kind of weird looking really i guess when you put it inside the hand you don't notice it so much but you notice how it's got like a little like a bend it's pretty cool looking but anyway next thing we're going to show you is um it's kind of like a bush sickle type thing but it actually chops away at these big bushes okay he used this as well okay he did a lot of major killing in this movie but he was also dealing with more or less a, like a, a mutant in some sort of way. She had serious, serious telekinesis or telekinetic powers and stuff. To the point she ended up killing her father when she was younger for, based on her powers. But she ended up putting him through the mills with this te telekinetic powers. She would do all kinds of crazy things to Jason. Okay, it's pretty cool looking. But anyway, uh, the unique thing about this, I will tell you this about this particular Jason, is probably my all-time favorite when it comes to the costume and the way that he looks. Absolutely badass, because he's technically the undead here. Uh, he just came back from, um, I'm not sure, but anyway, he, he's the undead in this uh, situation. But the way he looks in this movie, and as you can see, uh, some of his um, back skeletal type uh, situations going on, um, He's pretty much rotted from the water and stuff when he when he uh, was thrown in the water uh, by Tommy, I think, in the last movie. And he just, you know, he was down there, uh, chained to the rock and stuff like that. And obviously because of her telekinetic powers, she released him. And obviously he went on a, you know, a rampage. But anyway, long story short, this is the best looking Jason in my opinion. Right? And I'm going to show you the face and everything. I've been waiting for this figure for a very, very long time. 
But anyway, uh, this is more like a bush sickle type uh, tool, which you can just kind of chop away at the big thick bushes. Okay. So let me show you what that looks like. Mm -hmm. It's got nice little colors to it too, as you can see. All right. Okay. Moving on from that, we have the axe. Okay. It's very cool the way they did the axe. It's got a nice kind of curvature to the handle and everything. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. Comes with two accessories, two hands. Also, let me grab them here so you can see what they look like. Now, these hands there, if you switch them out, obviously you can um, sport the other weapons that I just showed you, like the. Uh, the bush sickle type situation uh, but this thing here obviously it's got the open hands I'm not sure if it's the open hands we're supposed to use for this I still gotta figure that part out but anyway on well, the handles in a way okay that's what she looks like turn them around as you can see the hands All right. It does come with two extra hands. And right here, so you can see what it looks like. And they're very tight looking, so you can actually grip things. Okay? Alright. Moving on from that, we're coming up to this. I don't know. I don't know what this thing is, but it's got a little hook. It's most likely some kind of a hook. Hook thing. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen the movie. Almost like a fish hook. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure they use it for something. Comes with some pretty decent accessories. Okay, now we're coming up to this one here. This is, in fact, Michael Myers' knife. Yes, Jason took it from Michael Myers, whooped his ass, and took his knife. No, just kidding. I will tell you this. I do like Jason a little bit better than Michael Myers. Michael Myers in himself is a very cool serial killer type uh, human. And he is qu quite ruthless. I've seen all the movies. I've got all the movies. I'm a big fan of the movie. But I just prefer Jason in the way that they treated Jason. Because he's practically a zombie. Okay? Undead. He's going to hell. He's done all kinds of crazy stuff. But that's the knife. Okay. Show you the handle of that. Pretty cool. Yep. It's a French knife or a chef knife. Very similar to Michael Myers. Okay. Now, the most infamous of all his weapons is his machete. Or machete. Okay. And this is nice and clean. It has no blood on it, guys, okay? All right. The handle. I do want to make my do-it-yourself type machete. Because I've got a bunch of masks that I've been actually working on. Pretty much like Big Hush does with his, but not as nice as his. But these are not bad looking. Okay, but anyway, that's the machete. And I want to make a machete myself. And probably get a full costume based on Jason. Because I've got some pretty cool masks that I want to wear. Okay. It also comes with a different head. This one is not uh, as deformed as this one here. Which you'll see in a second here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Alright. You'll see the back end here. You can switch out the heads. Okay. And here's what she looks like in the back. Okay. I see he's got a big old hole in the back of his head. Okay. And I think that's probably where you put the mask or something on it. I don't know. But anyway. This mask right here, a lot of people are questioning it. It is a split mask. That it, you see it. You can actually take this mask off and put this one on. And what you do is you kind of pull it apart. So it actually shows part of his face. Along with the two halves of the mask. Okay. Pull that in so you can see it. 
get my fingers out of the way so you can see. And that's what she looks like. But it does split apart. Okay. As you can see, it's, it's broke. Okay. But you can wear it, see? It's been split in half. All right. Enough about the accessories. Let's get into the actual figure in itself. Well, let's check out this bad boy right here. This thing is cool. First of all, the blade does move. Okay. But like I said, I've got to figure it out how um, to place it in his hands. i got to look at some close-up pictures of it. Okay, that's what she looks like. Looks just like a skill weed whacker. Except it has the blade at the end. Okay. Pretty cool looking. Nice colors, nice detail. They did a really fantastic job on this particular figure. They really put a lot of effort into it, as you will see in the, the, the figure in itself. There's a tremendous amount of detail in this thing. Okay, now, let's shut that off. Okay, I'm going to pop him off his stand. Okay, I'll let you see his face up close. So that's his mask right there. Now I'm looking to do an actual Jason Voorhees mask. I got part three. Oh, actually, yeah, it was part four, I think it was. No, part three. But anyway, long story short, I got one of those. It cost me $52 for that thing. Uh, it's actually the NECA version of it. It's really super thick. And like I said, I've made a bunch of other ones. Two of them are actually Halloween based. They're uh, pumpkin colored or orange colored. And I think that's the only two of them did. And I, over in the box, you can't see it from here, but anyway, there is another project. I want to try to uh, eventually make a, an exact replica of another mask. What one I want, I don't know yet. I'm not really positively sure, but I want to try to get as close as possible to one of them and just get it, you know, pretty decent looking because that's what I want to do. Okay. But anyway, let me show you the details of this Jason. Okay, first of all, let's just pop his mask off so you can see how ugly he is. Okay, first of all, let's check out the mask, okay? Alright. Comes with the head straps. There you go, guys. That's very cool looking. Now, I have um, a Ruby's version of the entire hood along with the hockey mask but the hockey mask had some funky looking color almost military green is very cheap looking I didn't like what they did to that so I actually repainted it and it looks closer to the one I just showed you there but anyway let me show you his ugly face here that's what he looks like up close he's one ugly motherfucker <laughs> as uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger would say to the predator you an ugly motherfucker. Alright, there you go, guys. Look at the detail of that. The ribs and everything are showing. I'd love to make me one of these kind of costumes. It would be very cool. A lot, now, like I said, I got the, the hood and the mask. The hood is based off of probably one of, um, it's, I think it's Freddy vs. Jason. The Ruby's version of it. It is based off of that, but I'd love to get one of these here. But a real, real elaborate one. That would be cool. Alright, let's get into it up here. As you can see, very nice detail on this thing. It's ridiculous. Even the legs. All the way down to his feet. Now, I just like the way this thing looks and the way it stands. Like I said, it is the zombie version or the undead version of Jason. Look at his back here. That's cool. Like I said, he's been sitting in the water for a very long time before the girl released him. Okay, so he's a little rotten. Okay, but that is what that Jason looks like. Articulation-wise, it does move at the shoulders, okay? Also, at the elbows, as you can see. The hands are interchangeable, okay? Alright. 
Same with this one here. As you can see, it's got a little decay there. That's pretty cool. Okay, same here. All right. The articulation is of both. Uh, both are the same from uh, both arms. The head in itself does move 360. Okay. Let me show you the back of that. It also, I think, has a hole in the back of that. I'm not sure. No, I don't. Okay. But he's got a nice long scarf on the mask. So you can see right here. Because he's wore, wore that mask for quite a long time in the water. Okay. Alright. In the legs, they say there is a problem with the hips. It's a little stiff. Okay. And yes, the hips right here at the leg sockets are a little loose. So they can be a problem. But I'm like I said, I'm just going to leave it sitting on the stand. Or on my shelf. And he's going to look real pretty. Okay. Okay. Now, articulation wise in the legs. As you can see, it's very tight. It does move. I'm sure you can bend them all the way back, but I don't want to snap them. The feet. Doesn't really move too much this way because of the way the uh, pants come down. But it does move a little bit up and down. You can hear the clicking. So you can position the, the feet a little bit, but not by much, okay? But like I said, he's just meant to stand and look pretty, okay? Anyway, that's the articulation of this particular bad boy, okay? Put him back on the stand. Okay. And that is what he looks like on the stand. Okay, so I'm going to move him in a little bit, the camera anyway. Zzz, there you go, guys. Okay, and I also got the hockey mask, which I will eventually put it on. As you can see, the way I got him positioned, it's not healthy. Okay. So, with that in mind, let's move him up a little bit. see how that looks okay that don't look too bad okay anyway that is what Jason looks like he is the new blood version it is part 7 and the mask in itself is very cool looking but I do like the Freddy vs Jason mask the way they do that and Big Hush does a version of that and it's fantastic looking I might just go ahead and buy one of his I'm not really sure yet uh, but anyway it comes with different accessories as well and like I said, when it comes to this particular saw thing, I will get him to, um, I'm sorry, let me pull that back. So you can actually see it. There you go. I will get him to uh, sport this, okay? And he's going to look really cool next to the other Jasons. Okay? But anyway, that is it. Now this particular figure in itself is roughly 8 inches tall. Okay? And you already know about the articulation. All right? But you know what I like about him is the way he stands. He's very cool looking. He's slim but muscular at the same time. Kane Hodder does, um, I think, four of the movies. I think from parts six, seven, eight. Well, anyway, he did four of them. Uh, it's been a while since uh, I remember what kind of movies he's been in. But anyway, in my opinion, he's the... Um, the epitome of Jason and the way he carries himself in these movies. Uh, unfortunately, when it comes to uh, Freddy vs. Jason, they wanted a more empathetic look when it comes to his eyes. And that's one of the main reasons Kane Harder didn't get the job because of his eyes were too serious or too evil looking in some aspects. And they wanted something a little bit more empathetic because of what Freddy puts him through. And... Ken Kirksinger, he did a good job. I like that movie, right? But Kane Hodder is the man when it comes to Jason, okay? The way he carries himself in all the movies, the whole nine yards, he's very cool, okay? I will tell you that. I do have various videos based on him, documentaries, on what he went through when he 
uh, caught on fire the whole nine yards. It was traumatizing for the man. But anyway, long story short, uh, that's a very sensitive man right there and what he went through and what he does when it comes to Jason's uh, character, how he commits to the character. Absolutely fantastic in my opinion. Kane Hodder is the man. But anyway, this particular Jason is my all-time favorite when it comes to his looks because he's got a very cool look, okay? Now, obviously, as time progresses, his look does change. He gets a little bit more dry-rotted. Uh, obviously, the actual mask somehow molds into his face, swelling up his face. I mean, they did all kinds of crazy stuff to Jason. But in my opinion, this is... Um, this is one of the um, actual, um, I want to try to create a suit based on this, but it's going to take a lot of work, okay? Now, I've seen people do it, okay? They did a pretty good job for the most part. But um, this is my all-time favorite because of the weapons that he uses in this movie, especially this bad boy right here. Very cool, okay? I mean, he does some major damage, but it's been a while since I've seen the movies, okay? I do have the movies, but I just haven't watched them in a while. But anyway, I don't think I'm not really sure what I want to do with the saw. I want to try to get it to work on this thing because he looks cool with the saw. But if I can't get it to look right, then I'm just probably going to use the other uh, weapons that he has. Anyway, this is Pumpkin Horror. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell, as I will eventually be pushing out some more videos once I get some new stuff in. Uh, the mask that I did create, I'll probably do a separate video on that further down the line. Just to show you what it looks like, it's not perfect, not by any means, but they look pretty cool on the wall, okay, I will tell you that. But anyway, this is Pumpkin Horror, you guys have yourselves a good day.